Bedford, Texas is one of those cities right in the heart of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex that if you're not paying attention, it's very easy to overlook. So today we're gonna take this opportunity to discover Bedford and see what one of the most affordable cities in the entire Metroplex is all about. We're gonna look at Bedford's history, what it's like to live in the city. We're also gonna look at the affordability, employment, lifestyle, and real estate. And something that we do with all of our city videos is compare the city that we're covering against the rest of the cities in the DFW Metroplex. So of course, we're gonna make sure that we do that here as well, but for all intents and purposes, we're covering everything you need to know about Bedford, Texas. Bedford is centrally located between Fort Worth and Dallas and has two primary access points to the rest of the DFW. It has Texas Highway 183 running east to west and also has Highway 121 running north to south. Now, if you're trying to get to major cities like Fort Worth to check out Billy Bob's, it's going to take you about 15 minutes. Now, if you're trying to get to Dallas to check out the food trucks in Clyde Warren Park, that's going to take you 25 minutes. And if you need to catch a flight in the DFW International Airport, Bedford is one of the most airport friendly cities that you'll find with a commute of 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I share those travel times because chances are you're going to find yourself going to Fort Worth or Dallas or catching a flight at some point in your future if you live in Bedford. But to give you a more day-to-day -day feel on what the commute looks like in and around Bedford, check out how far you can travel away from Bedford in 30 minutes, which as you can see, you can cover a good portion of the Metroplex altogether. So now that you have a better sense of where Bedford, Texas even is, I wanna welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident. So if you can hit that like button, it's gonna really help us out. All right, so back to Bedford because this is what you came for. Bedford is located in Tarrant County and was first settled in the 1850s, which at one point in time was actually the second largest city in Tarrant County following Fort Worth. But it wasn't until 1953 that the town of Bedford was officially incorporated, which fast forwarding to today is still a thriving city that has a population of over 50,000 residents. The city is now home to several award-winning parks, recreational facilities, and a wide variety of businesses and shops to choose from. And it's Bedford's central location that has helped it stay relevant for all of these years, which will continue doing so long into the future. So to add some additional context to the Bedford conversation, I want to introduce to you Niche.com, which is a website that interprets millions of public data sets and compares cities all across the country. And as you can see, Bedford received an A from Niche, aggregating the 12 categories you see on the screen, and has named Bedford the seventh best place to live in Tarrant County. But to get a more boots on the ground feel, check out the rating that the current and past Bedford residents gave the city. They ranked it a four out of five stars based off of the 170 reviews. Now the complete report is linked down below. So I wanna encourage you to check it out so you can see all of the categories that you saw on the screen, but also I want you to check out the reviews of current and past residents because now we're gonna get into some fun stuff. We're gonna talk parks, trails, amenities, recreation. What does that look like in Bedford? The city of Bedford has 11 parks to choose from, with most of them having playgrounds for your kids to enjoy. Now, if you're more of the trails enthusiast, you have 11 to choose from there as well. And if you're more into events for that community feel, there's plenty of options for you to choose from when you're living in Bedford. So there's plenty of things for you to do within Bedford itself. However, given its location, you're gonna have access to some premier city facilities, amenities, events, parks, trails, and everything else surrounding it which we'll get to here shortly because we need to talk about the school system for a second regardless if you have a kid or not it impacts you because with the school system comes property taxes so you need to know where they're going and you also have to factor in the resale value of your home because the school system drastically impacts that now the school system itself is actually hearst Euless, bedford independent school district yes it's three cities combined together that are often known as h E B H E B I S D serves almost 23,000 students and has a 97.4 graduation rate. Now, as far as the school breakdown goes, there's 21 elementary schools, five junior highs, two high schools, and two non-traditional campuses. Now, from an employment standpoint, the ISD is actually one of the largest employers in the city. 
And if you're looking for the type of success that students are seeing, check out the student achievements, which also gives us an opportunity to check out some numbers that you might find important, such as the students per teacher ratio being 17 to one, which is a little bit higher than the state average. But if you're looking at the percentage of teachers with three or more years of experience, that's actually 92%, which is 8% better than the state average. Now, as a real estate agent, there's certain things about the schools that I'm not able to cover. So I'm gonna leave a full report down below on HEBISD for you to check out. But what I am able to cover is something that I am deeply passionate about, which is Chick-fil-A. So we need to answer the question, is there a Chick-fil-A in Bedford? And I'm excited to report that yes, there is a Chick-fil-A in Bedford. And ironically enough, I was actually at the grand opening. So yes, I do take my Chick-fil-A pretty serious. Now I understand that that's not for everybody. So we need to start talking some real estate because regardless if you're a renter or a homeowner, we need to understand what's going on in the real estate market in Bedford, given that real estate impacts so much of our lives. So let's start off from a macro perspective. The typical home value of homes in Bedford is $389,417. Now this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. Embrace for this, Bedford home values have gone up 21.4% over the past year. And no, that is not a typo. And as you can see over the last 10 years, real estate values have really gone up. So now we know that the median home value in Bedford is $390,000. However, how does that stack up to the cities surrounding it? Well, you have Colleyville right down the road with the median home value of $884,000. Ulysses with $367,000, Arlington $340,000, Hearst $354,000, and North Richland Hills with a median home value of $383,000. Now, one of the questions that you might have at the moment is, well, what is $390,000 even buy me in Bedford? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that because I happen to have the homes that are available for sale right now, right in that price range. Okay, so by the time you're watching this video, chances are those homes are no longer available. However, if you go down to the description and check out the link of our preferred Bedford homes, all of the homes that you see there are actively for sale right now. And something I really encourage you to check out is this video right here where I break down the monthly mortgage payment in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. That video that I just linked is super valuable to you, especially if you're coming in from another state, because what you're getting ready to find out is that the property taxes in the DFW Metroplex are relatively high. But just remember, there's no state income tax, which is a good segue to our next category, which is the cost of living. The cost of living in Bedford is 2% less than the national average. And from a housing perspective, it's 4% less. From a utilities perspective, it's 10% more. On the grocery front, it's right around the same. And from a transportation perspective, it's actually 7% less expensive than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Bedford is the city for me. If that's you, check out our information down below so you can connect with our top realtors. But if you're still on the fence, that is okay. I wanna give you two additional cities that are comparable to Bedford to check out. And the city suggestions pretty much write themselves at this point because it's actually in the acronym that we covered a couple of minutes ago in HEB. I want you to check out Hearst and I also want you to check out Ulysses. 